Hey guys, I'm John Rettinger. I'm a guest editor here at PocketNow.com with a browser comparison for you on the BlackBerry Storm and the HTC Touch Pro, or in this case, the AT&T Fuse. So, let's go ahead and get started. Tilt the camera down here so you guys can see. I've got the backlight turned down pretty far on both, and they are queued up to everyone's favorite, PocketNow.com. So let's start right here with the HTC Touch Pro. So this uses a resistive screen, meaning it makes the connection from two layers pushing together, kind of like that, so you feel a little bit squishy. But let's take a look. Notice it rendered the website in full HTML, just as it would look on your computer. And you get the ability to scroll around nice and easily with your finger. Find something that you want to see. You can double tap, and you'll zoom right in. And notice that it scaled itself right for the window, which is really nice. It automatically will adjust the text, and it's very easy to pan around. Double click will zoom you right back out. Most of your navigation is done from this little arrow right here. It looks like an eject button almost. So if you go ahead and click that, it pulls up all your menu. You can go back. There's a star. Push it again right there. Stars are your favorites. It is full tab browsing. That right there will show you where you are and pull up your um, main menu bar up top. And this right here will go to your settings, downloads, page info, history, save pages, and help. I really do like the tab browsing experience. I think it's really very helpful. You can scroll around here again on any page that you're at, and it really is a very seamless experience, and the HTML rendering is uh, quite fantastic. So let's take a look now at the BlackBerry Storm. And here we are again now on the PocketNow homepage. You notice it sort of gave me the ability to scroll around, but not by much. It actually didn't render the website correctly, which is uh, quite surprising. Let's give it one more shot. Let's refresh it one more time here. We'll go to pocketnow.com. And this is actually a pretty common problem with the BlackBerry Storm. The browser does render pages in full HTML, and it's supposed to be just as fully capable as the HTC Touch Pro, which I should mention is running Opera Mobile 9.5. It does ship with Pocket Internet Explorer, but it does not use it as a primary browser. Fortunately, Opera Mobile is far superior. So we're going to give the BlackBerry Storm another shot to load Pocket now. And there it goes. So it is now letting me scroll around, uh, which is very nice. And it's showing everything in one column. Now just like the Touch Pro, if you want to zoom in, you can double tap the screen. And I didn't push the screen actually in like I did right there. I just double tapped on the outside of it using its capacitive touch screen, which means it's used its uh, makes its reactions from transfer of electrons on the glass surface. Now notice it zoomed in, but it did not scale itself like the Touch Pro did, so you have to pan around to read the text. A little bit on the annoying side. This, much to my chagrin, does not have tab browsing. You've got a menu right here which pulls up your website to be most viewed and which ones you want to go to. This right here will change your view from column to full web pages. And this little arrow here will replace almost your finger with a little bit of cursor. So you probably can't see it, but there's a cursor falling around my finger. It helps me select items. And you can zoom in and out, like I mentioned, with your finger. Or you can use these little plus and minus arrows right there to make your zooming just a little bit easier. I find tapping to be much easier, because that's what I'm used to. But you may prefer something different, and you can find a format that works really nice for you. And you can see panning is relatively easy. This is definitely the most fully featured browser that BlackBerry has ever put out, uh, even more fully featured than that found on the BlackBerry Bold. So I do give them credit for moving forward uh, with their browser. It certainly is a step in the right direction and a step forward from, I suppose, where they, where they were. So let's go ahead and compare the two now, and I'll give you guys my take on it. So I'm loading up Pocket Now again here on the Touch Pro, and there it is. And just looking at the two, even back on the home screen here, see zooming out is sometimes a pain. It does always register the double taps. Let's go back here. Even just looking at both pages, you can see that the HTC Touch Pro and Opera Mobile 9.5 really make it a much easier to use mobile browsing experience. Uh, I've really enjoyed using actually Opera Mobile 9.5, and I recommend anybody who has a Windows mobile phone go ahead and give it a download. It's certainly worth it. 
Uh, it does uh, handle JavaScript perfectly, and it does handle some Flash content, but you cannot view YouTube videos, unfortunately, on either devices. Although the HTC Touch Pro does come with a integrated YouTube player, although it is a little bit hidden. Flick scrolling on each you can certainly do. Run your finger, keep scrolling. On the BlackBerry Storm, it'll scroll as long as your finger's on the page. So it really is a personal preference there. Move the camera back up here. So if I had to choose one that a browser that I prefer, hands down has to be Opera Mobile 9.5, especially optimized for the Touch Pro. Everything works perfectly with the accelerometer too. You can rotate it. Saw right there, everything works. Turn it back. Recognizes everything really quickly and easily. And it makes for a seamless PC-like browsing experience. So in conclusion, if you have to pick a two and browsing experience is your big determinant, stick with Windows Mobile, stick with Opera Mobile 9.5, you will not be disappointed. So guys, I'm John Rettinger, I'm a guest editor here for pocketnow.com. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.